Hi, I hope you are familiar with the linear and relative layouts. And there is also one other uh, layout that is worth mentioning, which is the table layout. The table layout allows you to organize your views by rows and columns. That is the same way you would uh, organize your views into a table. And in this video, I'm going to show you a demo on how to use a table layout. Let's go ahead and get started. Go to layouts and I'm going to drag in a table layout from here. Let's go ahead. I've dragged a table layout inside and let me go ahead and change the width and height properties inside the layout parameters. You have the width property which I'm going to change to match parent. And also we have the height property which I'm going to change to match parent as well. So you can see that the table layout currently fits snugly into the relative layout, taking up most of the space, excluding the padding. And you can notice here in the outline that our table layout comes with four rows. And uh, we're going to add some views into the rows to see how this is going to work. First, let's start adding buttons. I'm going to add a couple of buttons to the row. So you can see that the table row one has two buttons. And uh, the table row uh, actually behaves just like a linear layout, organizing views linearly in a horizontal fashion. That's because uh, table row itself is a subclass of the linear layout. And you can see that the buttons do not take up the entire space. If you want to make your views to occupy the entire table row, there is a property in the table layout which will allow you to do that. And that is the stretch columns property. I'm going to give this a value of asterisk or star. And let me press enter. Now, once we have the stretch column property set for the table layout, uh, please notice that I'm not adding the stretch column property to table row, I'm adding it to the table layout. And once I have star here, the views which you add into your table row automatically will take up the entire uh, space or the entire area occupied by the table layout itself. And let's go ahead and add a few more components to the second table row. I'm going to add a button here to the second row. And you can see that the button takes up the area that is allowed for the first column. And in case if you want to enable this button to occupy two columns, you can do that as well. And for that, we have a column property. Let me go ahead and uh, modify that. I'm going to double click on this button. And here inside this button, I'm going to add a new property that is called as Android Layout Span. And this is the span property, which will allow you to the number of columns the button or the view should span. And in this case, we want this button to span to two columns. So I'm going to give two, save this. Let's go back to the graphic layout. And you can see that the button now spans across two columns. And let's go ahead and add another view to the third row. Let's go ahead and add a button. And this button takes up the first column. However, I want this button to take up the second column. And the column indices start from zero. So this is the column zero and this is column one. So this button here currently takes up column zero, but I want this to show up in column one. To do that, I'm going to give this a property, which I'm going to do by double clicking on this button. And right here from the XML, I'm going to add Android layout column and this column is going to get an index inside which the view has to be placed in our case it is going to be column one save this let's go back to graphical layout and you can notice that the column one is now occupied by our button so these are a few properties the first one is the stretch column property which i asked you to add from the table layout and the second one is the span property, which will let you to specify how many columns your view should span. And the third one is the column property, which allows you to specify the index of the column in which you want your button to be placed. There is one more property, which I'm going to show you. Uh, not a property, it is actually the behavior of your table layout. 
and we have a row here uh, next to a row so I'm going to add a few buttons to this button I'm going to add one two and let me try adding a third button now you can see that once we add a third button a new column is created and all other rows that belong to the same table layout are affected as well so this is also one important behavior of the table layout and uh, that's about it because uh, these are the most important properties that you have to be aware of when you are using a table layout and if you have any questions on the table layout please feel free to ask thank you